BB Nigeria. Have you seen people that are trying to blow for so long a time? I don't know about it, but I've seen people that try to blow. And they are on a journey of blowing. But upon that your journey of blowing, the Bible said, something must happen. And until that happens, you will remain in perpetual darkness. We spoke about Hilda a while ago. Where is she today? Nobody. The generation will rise will never be remembered. Do you know why? Nobody is remembered in the citadel of darkness. It's only in light that men are chronicled and are kept. There is something that you have to be able to strike in the spirit for you to be remembered in time. And part of that is to carry this deposit. And that was why God was deliberate about the life of people that was come out from Jesse. And even in the family of Jesse, only David that understood that was given that ordination. You cannot count so many among the siblings from the branch and the stem of Jesse. Jesse lived upon the face of the earth as a pilgrim and yet again only bare son. Because all the rest, we don't know what happened to them. It was part of the desire of God that from the stem and the branch of Jesse, there are deposits that must rest. And these are the things that God do before he allowed the glory of God to rest. Because the glory of God cannot rest until these things are in place. Anytime you see the glory of God in a place, check. Those seven spirits of God are there. The spirit of wisdom and counsel. The spirit of might. The fear of the Lord. Because until men make contact to Iraq Adonai, there is no way that the glory of God can tabernacle. The glory of God will kill a man that does not carry this. The dwelling place of the glory of God is this. This is the ability for God to tabernacle with a man. If God must be relevant in your life, my friends, these things must work in your life. Not one, all. The spirit of the Lord. When we speak about the spirit of the Lord, we speak about the spirit of God as Abba. He, before you have a biological father on the earth, do you know you have a father in heaven? Before you have a spiritual father or a spiritual mentor, do you know that there is somebody in heaven that his, his authority go beyond the confines of the earth? The Bible says when God alters a decree, it rattles in the earth. In the days your father come against you to kill you, who will deliver you? In the days your mother say you are an half caste, who will deliver you? So we live as men that have partaken of the spirit of Yahweh Almighty. And you can't cause a man upon whom the spirit of the Holy Ghost dwell upon. In the days that we are advancing, only them that know the Lord their God shall be strong and do exploit. The days of men have ended. We are in the days of God. Because we are on the battles of the last days. The battles of the last days are the battles of the immortals. Only those that can make contact to spiritual realities can survive. Those that cannot see the spirit with that, they will bury you, you will not even understand. Battles are coming. We are in the last days. What do you think as the last days? It's strange days. The Bible speaks about the spirit of counsel, the spirit of mind, the spirit of wisdom. When that rests upon a man, a man begins to journey in light and the glory of God rests. I show you some few guys and then we pray and take the commitment. Daniel chapter 1 I will paraphrase a lot. In the day that God wanted to be revealed in Babylon he spoke to an intercessor go to Babylon, the intercessor refused. How many of us can God send us to Sokoto? We will not go. Everybody now God called them to Abuja or Lagos. How many of you can God appear to you and say, go to your village and start a ministry? Call it uh, Victor Igu. You can't even put international because the status of your village have reduced its capacity. So if you say international where there is no network, intergaining. Because some of you, your village is not in the map of Nigeria, so you are cut out of civilization. But mind you, God may awaken you and say, Arise, shine in Aguilili. Arise, shine in Umuziki. Arise, go back to Olu. For some of you, it's uh, Aguatashi. He could say Aguatashi. Aguanoma. Can God tell you to forsake what you are doing now and go to a bush and go and stay? And be a farmer and serve his purpose. Because you say God doesn't talk like that. Then how, God, how does God talk? So you wonder why you can't hear the voice of God because God has been talking. Just that you are also talking. Be quiet to listen. Because in the days God light shine. 
Sometimes persecution can make men scatter. Out. So in the days when God wanted to send men to Babylon, he beckoned upon some intercessors. They have been praying for 35 days. God use me. God use me. God use me. I know people that have been praying, God use me. The day they ordained them pastor, they passed life. God, I have a calling. So now we put you in a department, we say sing. After two weeks, we don't see you again. God, I want to serve you. And we give you opportunity to serve God. You're not going to wait. Imagine if you are not that useful to God, would the devil be see you valuable now? Because if you are not a threat to the kingdom of darkness, you are not a threat at all. How does your life affect the kingdom of darkness negatively? Because the devil doesn't care whether you live or you die. So the devil is singing, I don't care whether you live or die. All I know that you are so useless to the kingdom of light. There are people that when they are gone, the devil is happy. Why? Because he cannot rest in the days of their remaining. What I'm trying to let you understand is that in the day God wanted to do a thing in Babylon, he reached out to intercessors. Some of them refused to go. Because God wanted to send men to Babylon to represent him. So do you know what he did? Daniel chapter 1. So that we can pray. Daniel 1. In the third year of the reign of Joachim, the king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged. And the Lord God gave King, gave Joachim, the king of Judah, into his hands with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Sina, to the house of his gods. And he brought the vessels to the treasure house of his gods. In the day God wants to use us, we refuse. You know what God do? He break our staff of defense and he give us as slaves. You see, this life that you have, that you think you are resisting, you don't want to, you don't want God to work with you. One of the greatest miracles that will happen to you this night is transition to God. Because God is about to send you as a slave. It's part of his will. God wanted to do a thing with the people they refuse. And because they were living in disobedience, he, him on his own. He beckoned upon another king from a strange land and said, go to Jerusalem. Imagine what wisdom, what whisper to this carnal king Nebuchadnezzar heart that he will say, let me enter Jerusalem. And when he went, the Bible said God was supporting this man and God himself carried his power and gave to this king and he allowed him to defeat his own chosen people. 